This one's for those of you out there who make cornhole boards, but have no way of making a nice six inch round circle. We do have a Porter Cable special router circle cutting jig that you can buy. Problem with this is it goes from nine inches out to 22 inches. Anything less than nine inches, it's not gonna be able to handle. So I've devised a router jig that's easy to make, um, uses just a couple of scrap pieces of quarter inch MDF um, and a brad pin, and that's all you need for the materials. Maybe a screw and a clamp to um, position things into place and hold it where you want it. I'm gonna show you how we do that. Um, I needed it in particular to do an eight inch diameter circle and a slightly smaller circle than that. This jig will go all the way down to about a three inch diameter circle and all the way out to what about a 15 inch diameter something like that 30 inch circle so you could do a tabletop with that if you wanted to here we go to make the jig i started off with a piece that's of quarter inch mdf that's um six inches wide and about two feet long. You want to mount the router onto the base using the screws that come with the router. I glued a strip on the bottom here that's about an inch and a half wide so that I can still access the screws to mount the router to the base. Um, this strip is going to correspond with this part of the jig that um, when it's assembled, both parts will ride on your board that you're routing the hole into. That ensures you have a good flat surface and, and that your router is not tilting at a slight angle. You want to make sure that's a 90 degree cut in there. The second part of this jig is the part that holds the pivot pin for making the circle. It's the adjustable part of the jig. I've cut away a little hole here in the center that will meet up with the hole on the router so that my bit can come through and I can get closer in. Um, this allows me to get to within one and a half inches of the center of the router bit. That means I can do about a three inch diameter circle with this particular jig, much closer than I can get with the other one. This plate, if this is six inches wide, you need it at least eight inches wide, so wider than your base um, that it slides on and off of. Um, it just has two quarter inch thick MDF pieces on either side. And the way that you ensure that that's a good snug fit is put it on your board, then glue the quarter inch MDF in place, making sure that you're not gluing it to your platform here, and glue the second piece on the top. For the cutout here, I simply set the router in place and traced around it so that I would have a cutout for the base so that I can bring the router in nice and close. And that allows it to come all the way up to halfway if you make the outside wings a little bit more than an inch wide, then um, I think you could even get even closer than that. You could probably bring it all the way up to an inch or so from the center of the router bit. It locks in place with a clamp, just wherever you happen to want it set. Um, I do have a measurement set scale here that tells me how far it is to the center of the bit. I do recommend that for the centering pin that if you're routing a hole that you're going to be taking the hole all the way through the board, that your pin should be longer than the thickness of the board that you're routing. You want that to go into your backer board so that when that hole is cut away, you're not finding everything loose and able to move around. You want to make sure that the pin stays centered at all times. 
Uh, my pin is about a half an inch deep. I probably will take this and file it off to be only a quarter of an inch deep and a little bit finer of a point at the bottom, just so that it, uh, it really doesn't need the full half inch to grab into. If you find that this part of the board gets in your way, uh, just cut it off to something like that makes sense. Maybe six or seven inches is fine. You have more room to clamp and you have less of the board swinging around as you're making your arcs. And if you find you need a longer board to go in here, it's pretty easy just to do another six inch wide board by however long you need. And this bracket should fit on it just fine. I could take the bracket and put it on backwards. And that would put my pin at about one, two, three, two and a half inches farther away from the center. You'd have to figure out exactly where that is. If you don't want to mess with the measurements on the front, if you're cutting a hole, you measure from the far side of the router bit closest towards the front edge here to the center of the pin, and that'll be your offset. You can also put different offset pins in different places. So if you wanted to put in a long screw for one for making your cornhole board, for example, and you still wanted the brad point, you could just put those in different places and use the bottom to measure center of your pin to the outside of the hole that you're cutting.